In this video, I'll show you how to add a voice of a narration to your PowerPoint presentation. Hi, my name is David. If this is your first time watching my video tutorials and you get any value from the content that you watch, kindly consider subscribing, like this video and share it with your friends so that we can all learn together. PowerPoint makes it possible for us to add narration or even an audio file to a PowerPoint presentation so that we can share with people as a video. This is a good way if you're creating PowerPoint presentations and you want to upload them to a website like YouTube or Vimeo or any other video hosting application. You can create your PowerPoint presentation, record your narration that goes with your PowerPoint presentation and then upload the PowerPoint presentation as a video to the different uh, video hosting websites. So in this video, I'll show you how to add a voice over narration and I'll do the narration live just to simulate how this whole process works. And finally, we will save our PowerPoint presentation as a video. So I have already prepared my PowerPoint presentation and it's on diversification. And it's just a bunch of slides that I've uh, put together. It looks good with some few animations and all that. Before we begin recording our voice over narration, just a couple of things, just to make sure that you get the best quality audio or voice over narration for your PowerPoint. Number one is try to record the voice over narration in a quiet room. That's paramount. If you have a microphone or if you don't have, it's always important to do it in a quiet room away from any background noise, maybe cats and dogs or even uh, cars hooting and all that. So that's number one. Number two, if you can afford a microphone, then that will do you good because it will improve the quality of the audio that is going to be produced. But if you don't have that, then the laptop microphone might do. But please know that that may be affected uh, because of the proximity to the laptop and the fans of the laptop and all that. So without further ado, let's begin. Here's our PowerPoint presentation. And all we need to do to start recording a voiceover narration is move over to the slideshow and click on it. Once we click on slideshow, let's ensure that uh, we are the beginning of the slide. And here we are. All we need to do now is just go to record slideshow and there's a drop down. So you can always check whether you want to start recording from the current slide. Let's say a bunch of slides don't uh, need to have anything, uh, but maybe you want the uh, recording to start from slide number four. You can always do that. But let's say record from current slide. And once we click on that, we're going to get into the record mode in PowerPoint. Now there are a bunch of options here, the red button to record, stop and replay. And then if you have notes corresponding to your slides, you'll see them here. Uh, you can also uh, make the text larger or smaller, but since we don't have notes, just do away with that. If you're not satisfied with the recording, you can clear the recording on the current slide or on all slides. So that's good. And then we have the options here to configure uh, our audio. So for example, I have an external microphone and this is the internal microphone for my laptop. So I'm using an external microphone uh, for this particular purpose and it may conflict with my screen recording application Camtasia, but we'll have to see. Next up, uh, you have uh, the camera and I've turned it off. If you click on the video camera down here, it's going to turn on and I'm going to come into uh, view and everything is dark and everything. I've not set up any lighting or, or anything of that sort. But since I don't want the my camera to be in uh, view, I'll just uh, close it out. And then if you do not want to have your mic on, you just close it out. But make sure since we want to do a voice over narration to have this on. So once you're ready to do your narration, all you need to do is hit the record button. And once I hit the record button, I'll start simulating a narration. Let's go. Diversification. Diversification of your freelance income is one of the best ways you can progress in XYZ. So just do your narration the way you do it. Then to go to the next slide, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. We go to the next slide. Why should you diversify? You should diversify if you want to make more money, have some time when you're free, 
ATC, ATC, ATC. Let's move on to the next slide. When do you need to diversify or when should you diversify? When you feel that either you need more free time, either you need more money, it's just basic things here. So you're doing your narration and all that. And then we move on to the next slide. What should you diversify into? As for diversification, you diversify into things related to what you're doing or maybe new and exciting things that have maybe a, a, a smaller learning curve. That's what you do. So basically, we're still going on uh, with our narration and then move to the next slide. And this slide is a slide that I, I'd like to say I've diversified into Udemy and I have a course on captioning on Udemy and you can check it out from xyz site and then i've also diversified into youtube and i have a screenshot on screen showing the amount of money i made uh, early on in my youtube days two dollars i had 101 subscribers etc so we all uh, start from somewhere so keep going and then there is the captioning course on udemy it had 91 students and it's a short video showing uh the course and all that so basically all i'm trying to say is that uh once you're done with your narration and you've done a good narration just click on the stop button now ah, we've stopped the recording you can decide to do a replay of the recording but the one thing i'd like us all to note is that there's a new icon here that's the audio icon uh, and uh, that's a good thing if you come to the clear option you can see clear recordings on current slide, clear recordings on all slides. What was happening all along is that as we were recording, each particular slide got appended an audio file corresponding to the slide that we were recording. So that's out of the way. If we close out this particular uh, recording pane, just close it out, you'll notice uh, here we have a video and then we have this particular icon here and then a small playback coming up for the particular audio. If we go to the other uh, slides, you'll notice uh, it's, uh, it's quite small, but I'll zoom in for you to see. There's an audio icon. And if I click on the slide itself, you'll see it uh, on the bottom here with its uh, different uh, player options. And if I play this one, play diversification, diversification of your freelance income is one of you can listen to the narration of that particular slide. So that's really good that we can add voiceover narration in PowerPoint very, very easily. You can see uh, the narration is available on all the slides that I recorded. If you're satisfied with your results, then all I'd recommend is that you can come up to the file, save us, and then we want to save this as a video. So what we're going to do here is uh, Click on uh, the PowerPoint option here and then navigate to the videos. We can either save as an MP4 or a WMV. Uh, for the purposes of this video, let's save as an MP4. Click on that and then we can maybe add an extension. Let's call it uh, something like, let's say, sample. And then we can say we want to save in a new folder. Uh, let's call it david david's sorry sorry about that david that's good downloads david and then i uh, just save so we want it there and by default once you click on save it's creating video diversification for freelancers depending on the uh, length of the audio and the amount of slides you're working with this may take a long or a short time Let's just give it a couple of minutes and see the progress. Our video is done converting from a PowerPoint slideshow with narration to a video. And that's how you add audio narration to a PowerPoint and convert the PowerPoint presentation to a video. So let's open the folder with uh, our file. Uh, here we are. We've got uh, David and the sample is here. Uh, if we just right click on it slightly, uh, it's uh, an mp4 and then we can just double click on it or just uh, let's double click double click on it diversification. diversification of your freelance income 
is one of the best ways you can progress in XYZ. So just do your narration the way you do it. Then to go to the next slide, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. We go to the next slide. Why should you diversify? You should diversify if you want to make more money. Have some time when you're free. ATC, ATC, ATC. Let's just post it there because we already have our video ready. And uh, as I've mentioned, having the ability to add audio narration or our audio file to our PowerPoint slides is a good way to repurpose our PowerPoint slideshows into videos for YouTube, Vimeo, or any other place that we want to share our content. So I'd like to put it to you. Go test it out, try it out, and I hope that you're going to have an easy way to create PowerPoint presentations with audio narrations and also PowerPoint presentations that can be converted into videos. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that you got some value from this particular content. I'll see you in the next video.